Hey guys, Manafa Collectibles here with yet another Hot Toys unboxing and review video. And today, finally, we'll take a look at Robin from Batman Forever. Guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Ray from Howard's Toys because he was nice enough to send me this figure for this unboxing and review. If you want to get this figure or any other Hot Toys or collectibles, make sure you check him out. I put the link in the description below. Alright guys, enough with the talking. Let's start with the unboxing. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so we're going to start with the box. And as you can see, we have a nice picture of Robin in the front with the Batman Forever logo there. This is to set out the box. Nothing there. This is the back with all the custom warning. Small pieces. Do not eat it. This is the other side of the box with the Robin logo there. Last but not least, we have the bottom. Batman Forever. And the top of the box. Batman Forever. <laughs> All right. So let me crack this baby open and see what else we have inside the packaging. And let me tell you guys, I can wait to show you all the details. And here we have Robin here. So let me remove the cover and see what else we have here. And of course, you know, the first thing is <sighs> the brand new smell of a Hot Toys. And let me remove the figure here. So let me take this plastic cover. And here we have Robin, ladies and gents, looking really, really nice. You can see the health scope, obviously the outfit. Now proportion looks pretty cool. And that's basically it. All right, guys, so now let's take a look at the accessories. And here we have all the accessories. And yes, we only have the base and we only have a few hands. <laughs> so that's all we have. So here is the base reused, of course. This is a battery compartment, which you cannot open, as you can see here, similar to the one from the Batman figure. And that's pretty much it for the base. Then we have only a couple of hands. So let me show you two. And as you can see, it is nicely sculpted in black. And that's pretty much it. Love the stitches and the detail. All right, guys, so now let's take a closer look at the figure here. And here we have Robin, ladies and gentlemen. And let me tell you, he looks really nice. I love the outfit. The rubbery material can be an issue, but don't worry, I'm gonna explain later. Let me get my tape and see how tall this figure actually is. And Robin is about almost, almost 12 inches tall. All right guys, so now taking a closer look at the figure, we can appreciate more details here, especially this awesome hair scope. Definitely the likeness is there. You can see the profile nicely done. Paint application on the hair on the hair scope is really good. You can see the hair nicely sculpted. This is something that Hattos has been doing really good for the past few figures, so I can't complain about that. You can see the little mask over there looking awesome, especially the paint application inside next to the eyes. This is the top, and that's pretty much it. Now for the cape, you can see this nice color with a wired cape so that's a huge huge plus and i kind of like this layer this golden layer inside looks awesome with this black cape now you can see the robin logo here on the chest of course the nipples this is a rubbery material rubbery suit which means limited articulation and that's not a secret you can see the gullet here and of course the belt and <clears throat> yeah uh, then we have the yeah it's big uh, <laughs> then we have the side here looking really good and of course the continuation of the muscle shape on the legs looking awesome really this is uh the boots you can see some logo or uh, type of pattern there bottom of the feet very very clean this is the other side love the stitches and paint application and of course we have robin booty <laughs> <laughs> and looking really cool now the belt you can actually move it because it's kind of loose and that's it then we have the cape which looks nice i kind of like this material to be honest with you love the stitches and of course the fact that it's wired is a huge plus now for the articulation you can move the head up and down and to the sides this much for the arm you can lift it for about this much because of the material you know what's going to happen soon swivel here you can lift it forward, be careful with the material, and you can bend the elbow for about this much, maybe more, but again, it is limited. Back articulation on the hand. Now, for the torso, this is uh, a little bit of up crunch and just a little bit, and no, a little bit of swivel, I, I will say. You can do a split for about this much. I will not push it any further. So, swivel here. You can lift it forward for about this much and back for about that much. Now, you can bend the knee 
for about this much, but because of the material, it's gonna come back, and that kind of sucks. And no articulation on the feet, you can just kind of swivel it. And that's it. That's all you have with the articulation. Now, for the comparison here, we have Superman from the Justice League. And as you can see, they look awesome together. Now, for the next one, we have to include Wonder Woman. This is the golden version, and this is by far one of my favorites in my collection as well. And last but certainly not least, we have, yes, Batman from Batman Forever. And of course, this is a dynamic duo. They look amazing together. All right, guys, so now let's do some poses here. And you, yes, because this figure has a rubbery material. It's very difficult to pose, and that's not a secret. The, uh, Hot Toys basically went for the likeness rather than the functionality, and I'm okay with that. As you can see, very simple pose. He's just pretty much waving and saying, hi, I'm here, <laughs> because that's all I can really do with this figure. There's no weapons, there's nothing else, but I, again, I think this pose is simple, but very cool as well. Now for the next pose, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, uh, <laughs> for the next pose, we have another simple one, semi-museum pose, of course, Robin and just looking straight that's pretty much it you're not gonna see very dynamic poses be actually maybe you can do it <laughs> but you don't want to go too crazy about this right you don't want to damage this figure because it does look awesome without doing crazy poses and last but not least i have to include this guy next to batman here and of course this is a very classic pose very simple and not even this is how i'm gonna pose my figures and as you can see now the arm of Batman is kind of lifting up because of the rubbery material but again it looks nice I you know I think it is a good good figure now my final thoughts about this figure is actually very positive the likeness I think it is on point so I have no problem whatsoever articulation of course is gonna be limited because of the rubber suit we knew that for the beginning Hot Toys compromised that for the likeness I'm okay with that Accessory-wise, this figure doesn't come with much, only a couple of hands, and that's it, not even a weapon. And because of that, my final score is 8.5 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, guys, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Manufa Collectibles, TikTok, Manufa Collectibles, and the Facebook group, Six Skill Media, for anything related, once the skill figures, both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.